All right, what's going on guys? So if you're clicking on this video, you're probably looking at the title thinking, I'm gonna give you a solution to solve your frame drop problems. And yes, I actually am gonna give you a solution for that. And it's not gonna be updating your drivers or something stupid and repetitive like that that has been said multiple times. I actually have a solution that I've literally proven multiple times to work really, really well, not just with CSGO lagging or frame dropping, but also in any other game. Now I have made videos in the past, like how to make CSGO run faster and how to remove lag spiking and stuff like that. If you haven't seen those videos, I will definitely link them in the description because they will always help making your game run faster but if you are experiencing the problem where you'll be playing around whatever your normal fps is say 150 for example and then randomly drop down to 18 or 19 or even 17 fps for a couple of rounds I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem right now. So let's get right into it. Now, this is going to be a quick video because there's really only one thing that's going to be causing this the majority of the time, and that is overheating. Whether you're playing on a laptop or a PC, doesn't matter what kind of laptop or PC it is, you can always have the problem of overheating. I used to play on a 2016 Dell laptop, and I used to make all my videos from that. And when I was playing CSGO on that, I'd always get around 120 to 150 FPS at medium to low settings, which is not bad. But randomly, after playing a game or two, I would suddenly drop down to 17 and 18 FPS and it would stay at exactly those two numbers for at least a round or two and then it would go back up. Now it seems like many people are having that same problem based on the comments of some of my other videos about how to make your CSGO run faster so I decided to make this into a separate video instead of just answering those comments one by one. Basically like I was saying anyone's computer can have the problem of overheating. There's a couple simple steps you can take to make sure your computer is not overheating. Now first starting off with laptops if you are playing on a laptop and you're experiencing this problem most likely your problem is always going to be overheating. First of all, if you're playing on a carpeted surface or anything that is not a hard surface, stop playing on that immediately. If you're playing on a carpet or if you're playing on a floor that has a carpeted surface, stop playing on that. Carpet will always significantly remove the majority of the airflow trying to go to your computer. If you remove this airflow, you're always going to have frame drops because your computer is going to be running super hot. Not only with your computer running super hot will it cause frame drops, but it's also going to cause your computer to also deteriorate much faster. If you are not playing on carpet and you are playing on a hard surface and you're still experiencing these frame drops make sure that again there's enough airflow getting into the computer's fans and that there's also enough clearance of air getting into there if your laptop is in a desk plugged into an external monitor make sure that the air surrounding it is also cool and is not confined to only taking hot air to cool your laptop if you're using hot air to cool a hot laptop it's not gonna do anything you're still gonna get these frame drops in my opinion the best way to play with a laptop is to make sure you boost it up off the ground a little bit whether you use a laptop cooling stand a laptop stand in general or just boost it up with like books or something and play like that. Even plugging in an external monitor and keyboard and mouse will help a lot because it'll allow the computer to sit separately and possibly get more airflow whether you have it on a stand or you have it boosted up against the wall, vertical, or something like that. Now if you're playing on a PC, whether you built it yourself or whether it was pre-built from another company, you can also still experience overheating problems. Not only will airflow affect your PC, but other things like the amount of cooling going to your specific components and other even really, really minor things like thermal paste on your CPU can also affect cooling. First of all, if you built your own PC and you have no cooling on your CPU, or if you have very limited fans in your computer, you need to fix that problem right away. Not only will that hurt your game, but it's also going to hurt your PC components over a long period of time. Make sure you have enough thermal paste on your CPU, you have your fans in the correct positions, meaning you have fans blowing air into your computer, but also blowing air out or exhausting air from the computer to make sure you get a significant amount of cold air flowing into your computer and then also being blown out once it's being heated up. Now, if your computer is all good and you know you have all this stuff, mainly for pre-built PCs and you don't need to worry about them. Again, if your PC is sitting on carpet, make sure that your air vents are away from carpet. You have to worry about mainly your intake air vents. If you have a case where you're intaking air from the bottom of the case, meaning it has to go through the carpet to get into your computer, that is a very bad sign right there. I would recommend putting your computer on a big piece of plastic or just something that you could buy from your local hardware store where you can basically just get a big piece of something, whether it be wood, plastic, whatever, maybe even cardboard that you can set your computer on so it's getting a smooth amount of air and it's not struggling to fight with the carpet surrounding it. Another thing to keep in mind is that if your PC is pulling in cool air or fresh air from carpet or by carpet, also check to make sure your computer is not covered in dust. And if it is, or if you haven't cleaned your computer before, I would highly recommend cleaning off all of that dust as soon as you possibly can and then regularly doing that often. Removing dust will always help your PC parts last longer, but it will also help with cooling too. But if you know your airflow is nice and cool, it's not being blocked by carpet, and you know that you have all your fans in the proper positions and you have thermal paste on your CPU and all the basics, but you're still experiencing frame drops, then that could lead to the problem.
problem that your CPU cooler is not performing like it should be. Now for GPUs, you don't normally have to worry about this. The, the fans that come on them from stock from the factory are always going to be good enough. If you have your GPU water cooled, you really should not be having any problem with it. It's more of your CPU you have to worry about. If your CPU is using a stock cooler, so for example, a stock Intel cooler that comes with a lot of the CPUs from Intel, if you're using that, that will most of the time not significantly cool your CPU enough to where you won't experience these frame drops. I would highly recommend either upgrading to a better air cooler or even better, a water cooling loop for your computer. I'll flash one up on screen if you don't know what I'm talking about. I personally have one of these in my computer. I highly recommend this Corsair one like I'm showing you guys on screen. It's literally a radiator that comes with two fans and it's a special custom water cooled loop for your CPU that you don't have to worry about doing anything yourself. You literally just bolt it into your computer and slap it on top of your CPU and you're good to go. These will always keep your components super, super cool. Again, if you know your airflow is running good and you have done everything correctly, but you're still experiencing frame drops, I would highly recommend upgrading your CPU cooler. But that's basically pretty much it, guys. Besides lowering your settings a little bit if you're experiencing frame drops and also updating your drivers, overheating will probably be the number one problem causing your frame drops. I know it was for me and it's been for a couple of my friends and I've been able to successfully help all of them out by either just turning off their PCs to help cool them down a little bit or upgrading their coolers or even just kind of fixing the airflow to make sure their PC is getting cooler air. Not only will it help your computer run faster, but like I was saying, it will make your components last longer and keep your computer running nice and fast. But that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping I helped some of you guys out. And if I did, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any further questions, make sure you drop them in the comments section below or hit me up on my Discord server and that is linked in the description below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Like your pants off. What you waiting for? What you think we came here for?